Hey everybody, this is probably going to be one of the most important video I ever made. And I give it a lot actually. It's not going to be, you know, edit or anything. It's not going to be a fancy video, but I do want you to listen. And if you disagree, that's totally fine. I think one of the most miss opportunities nowadays with people is we forget talking to people or listening to people in this case who has different opinions than you can be one of the most thrilling and life-changing even if it doesn't change your mind it can be one of the most precious things in the world and I think we need to talk about this Reclaiming liberalism. Now, I have been a liberal all my life. My family is pretty conservative. And I don't hate conservatives. And this is going to be a big part in this video. Folks, we need to go back to peace. We need to go back to love. There was once a time in our universe, our earth... Where young people thought, hey, I can change the world. But because we have forgotten mainly our roots, we have forgot we could change the world. Sadly, right for, as for right now, the corporations, the hate monitors, the fear monitors have won. But it doesn't have to remain like that. Folks, we can live the dream that Martin Luther King, JFK, and the hippies want it. We can live that dream, folks. How? I'm going to tell you in a second. But first, I want to say... We need to start with love. No more hatred. No more divide. When you see somebody like a conservative who may have different point of views than you, don't yell at them. Talk to them. Not attempt to change your mind, but attempt to change their heart. The heart. It's all about the heart. It's about the mind too sometimes, but in this case, it's about the heart. And what I'm even going to say something controversial. You can be a conservative and so want peace. We all come in this earth. We love each other. We should love each other. But we're so brainwashed at the same time to just get on each other's throats all the time. We see it. But we don't have to make it that way anymore. It starts with a change of heart. A change of mind comes after. A change of heart comes first. And after you expand your heart, you can expand your mind. Start by, you know, doing simple tasks like a cycling, making Mother Earth better. Start by, you know, being less hateable or cynical even. I was once a cynical person. I was very cynical in my high school years. But I stopped because I understood that's not the world I want to live in. I want to live in a world of peace. You know? I was influenced by an early age when I read JFK, Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and later on the hippies. I was so influenced by liberalism and what it stood for and what it stands for. Something happened over the years. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think it may be the fact that 
it's not necessary because there's different types of liberalism, which there is, but that's not the reason. The reason is because we're so busy hating on the conservatives. We should be putting our hearts to fixing the environment, stopping the political divide. You know, that's what we should be doing. Fixing our drinking water, getting the microplastics out. That's what true liberalism is. And I hope we can see that someday in our hearts. Thank you.